Last week we did a story about how uh, bridges around the world are literally getting sto getting stolen uh, so people can sell the metal uh, and some of the materials that are used to make that bridge. Well, we have a similar problem in the United States, except it doesn't involve bridges. It involves uh, metal storm drain grates. Now, hundreds of these grates are missing in some parts of the United States. Uh, just to give you some uh, a few examples, there were 16 missing in Philadelphia recently, seven missing in... Um, uh, in New York, uh, 18 missing in uh, Oregon, and 600 missing in Atlanta in recent Damn. months. Okay. Atlanta's all over those greats, man. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, is there a lot of Turks in Atlanta? What's happening? I, I know. <laughs> because there was this, the story was a Turkish guy stealing this huge bridge. So this is actually causing a lot of really big problems because uh, if if the it's basically like the cover for the storm drains, right? Mm -hmm. If it's missing, people could accidentally drive into it. Bicyclists can fall into it, um, and, and so people are getting injured. And it's also costing cities and municipalities a significant amount of money to replace it because they're made with steel or iron. Um, you know, it, it, and that's it, why there's Stealing. It's at, yeah, and it adds labor costs. Now, if you go to like a junkyard or something and you try to sell it there, at most you can get between fifteen to twenty dollars for it. And by the way, you got to keep in mind that some of these uh, grades actually weigh up to three hundred pounds. So you need maybe two people to help you do it. No, but I hear you. But the flip side is, once people hear that, they think, well, there's twenty dollars lying in the street. Why don't I go pick it up? I get it. It's a little hard to pick it up, but you you know you do it. You, get a couple, mm -hmm. I'm surprised there's any greats left. Right. And look, people are in economic tough times, and that's what the point of the story is. Yes. Like, people are so desperate that they're going around lifting 300-pound greats to try to get 15 to 20 bucks if they can find the right seller and go through that entire hassle, et cetera. You know, but again, the major cities aren't feeling it, like the upper class in those cities aren't feeling it that much, so they're confused by this story, right? Like, they well, are I don't, confused. I don't get it. Why, why are they doing that? Yeah, because... Other people are struggling. They are struggling. And, and the thing is, look, th the wealthy can't continue building the moats around their palaces and their castles. Okay, The reality is uh, the rich people, wealthy people, well-off people, whatever you want to call them, are just as likely to fall into that storm drain as anyone else because they need to use those streets. They have to deal with the infrastructure. When our infrastructure is falling apart and when people are literally stealing bridges and storm drain grates, we have a real problem on our hands and they have to deal with it. And I hope that they feel the pain just as much as you know the middle class and the working class has to feel the pain. All right, now that we've gotten the serious parts, yes. They, they got it. They got to go to where the money is, man. If you have these storm grades, sell them to the cities. They need them. You're <laughs> like, no, dude. Five hundred dollars. I know you need it. <laughs> Shit is wide open. I got like a hundred of them in my truck. <laughs> By the way, I should note I should note that there were cases of developers that purchased them for a significant amount of money, like between a hundred to three hundred dollars. Oh. So developers will pay a pretty penny for them. Um, but so, you've got but to find that's it. really interesting. That's what's probably going on in Atlanta. Right. Because that's on a professional scale. So that's a that's a genius move. Because then the city comes to the developers and says, "I oh I need great." So they're like, "Well, as luck would have it, I just made a hundred. Now of course they're going to cost you three thousand dollars." And it's a good business, you know what I'm saying? They pay, a two, let's say, 200, and the guy's thinking, hey, I got 200 instead of 20, and then he's gonna sell for 3,000, everybody gets paid, and where does the money come from? Taxpayers. Mm -hmm. So I'm against this, by the way. <laughs> Can put the grades back. And are we all agreed that manhole is the funniest, one of the funniest words in the, in, in the dictionary? <laughs> manhole is pretty funny. Yeah. Is that like used professionally? Yeah, yeah. The, like developers so, will so say, "So that's we actually not a grate. That's a manhole. Yeah. Right. So the grates are the ones that are grids. Yes. So now, if somebody opens up a manhole and you fall inside it, New York, right here. Question mark.